just wanted to get some documentation of what this looks like before we set about clearing out the understory. There's our entrance over there. And about where that bright spot is, level with the picture, that's the end of our territory. And got a bit of snag needs to be cleared out. You got some really big trees here, really big ones. And there's the sun. I'm just going to come over here where I can shoot below the sun. We go pretty far back in that way. But this is the before picture. So, all of this small maple, we're going to clear that out. Got a bit of a stream bed here, but. Even when it rains really hard, it never fills, which leads us to believe that we're on top of, large, of a large bank of sand that was deposited here in the past by the river. And I think when we get the understory cleared up, it'll be a lot more open, a little, a little bit more light and be able to start doing some forest gardening in here. And that's about a 360 there. This large bunch over here, we're gonna leave this and some of these grapes, even these wild grapes, we're going to leave where we leave the large, older growth trees like this bunch. But just for scale, that's a grapevine that goes up into the canopy. And I'd say some of these bigger trees are probably getting to be at least 125 feet tall. So we're going to leave the big ones, which are mostly tulip tree and sycamore. And get a bunch of this fallen dead wood cleared out. I've seen just about every mushroom I've seen in this ecosystem right on this spot. And there's another view of what it looks like prior to clearing the understory. It's going to be quite a bit.